Hello and welcome to another uh, Volcano Quiz. This is Sir CJ and I hope that you are ready for the second set of questions which I am about to ask you. Remember that these are related to the uh, Module 1 which is all about uh, volcanoes and at some degree some earthquakes that are uh, actually found doon sa ating uh, Earth and Space Science series uploaded here in this channel. This is Volcano Quiz 2.0. Let's begin with the first question. Which among the following observations best describes or best indicates the level at which magma can make a volcano erupt? So basically, uh, these are characteristics maybe of a volcano or maybe of magma that can actually cause or lead to the eruption of a volcano. So let's see. It's the first one. When magma is ready, reddish to orange. So, when magma is reddish to orange now, does that mean that the volcano is about to erupt? The second one. When lava is com that is coming out is actually black. So, does that mean that when the lava is black, the volcano is about to erupt? The third one. When, magma, when the magma chamber gets filled we all know that the magma chamber is uh, let's say a container a container of magma so once it gets filled does that mean that the uh, volcano is about to erupt then the next question when magma gets too hot we all know that uh, magma is already molten it's already hot but uh, say it has the ability to be too hot does that mean that the volcano is about to erupt the next option the fifth option is when magma flows slowly okay so in our classes you remember na kapag magma pinag-uusapan natin uh, it is not a solid thing it's not also a fully uh, liquid thing it is a semi-solid and uh, as a semi-solid, uh, it has the ability to flow, right? Now, when magma flows, uh, it has its speed. Pwede siyang mabagal, pwede rin siyang mabilis. So, when magma daw is flowing slowly na, does that mean that the volcano is about to erupt? And then for the last, uh, for the last option, when magma has less silica. So, it is saying here, uh, we all know that in our class discussions, uh, silica content affects the viscosity of magma. Um, when the silica content of magma for a particular volcano decreases, does that mean that the volcano kung saan galing, galing yung magma na yun, is about to erupt? Is that the case? Okay. So I want you to look at all of these options and then uh, select the most uh, probable correct answer. Okay, let's now proceed to the next question. Question number two. The physical structure of a volcano gets affected by magma. You all know that, right? Um, if there is uh, actually anything, any substance that uh, or any term that we have been repeatedly using in our class discussion that actually makes the discussion about volcanoes possible it's actually magma right okay so the first uh, part of this uh, question it's claiming that the physical yung physicala yung kumbaga pang yung anyo mismo the physical structure the characteristics of a volcano it does uh, it is it gets affected by magma now, particularly thou, which among the following statements best supports this claim? So, just like the first uh, question, uh, this question might actually be um, about magma as well. Pero we always have to focus on only one thing. I remember, we have to focus on one thing and that is how magma actually affects the structure of a volcano. For the first option, uh, a volcano daw gets older with more magma. Is that true? That the more magma uh, that, a, uh, that a volcano uh, has, it's older? So, ibig sabihin ba kapag konti lang yung magma content, 
ng isang vulkan um, as in nasa magma chamber niya that's does that mean it's actually younger okay and uh, does that have anything to do with the physical structure next option a uh, younger volcanoes uh, get less magma um actually this is uh, the sec actually if you're gonna read this parang pareho lang sila ng option a and b no what do you think so i want you now to decide if they are the same because remember in this question there is only one correct answer and then uh, we only have actually so far around the two options pala let's explore the, th the third one but the third one it says volcanoes decrease in size with magma emission okay so kapag sinabing decrease in size bali daw parang kumbaga lumiliit yung vulkan with magma emission so kapag nag emit ng magma ang isang vulkan is that true na talagang lumiliit siya is that really the case so think about the anatomy of a volcanic eruption which i shared with the class last time uh, please remember that there are uh, several layers, di ba, that makes up the structure of a volcano. Actually, kung several, parang dalawa lang sila, di ba? Now, think about it. With increasing magma emission, is it true na mas liliit yung, yung size ng volcano? Okay, think about it. For the next option, magma emission can make volcanoes flat. All right. Uh, remember that uh, there are several um, forms with, re with which magma can actually assume, no? So, may mga flat, which are called shield volcanoes. Pero namang mga, um, mga volcanoes na talagang matatarek. Uh, they are very steep-sided. And uh, they are called cinder. And mga cinder volcanoes with cinder cones. And then, uh, may mga volcanoes then. Uh, that are both uh, wide and tall. Kasi kung wideness lang naman ang pinag-uusapan, kung width lang naman, wideness, ganun, it's actually the shield volcanoes that will win this race. Pero shield volcanoes actually cannot compete against uh, cinder cone when it comes to height. Because height naman ang strength or kumbaga, ang pinaka-characteristic ng mga cinder cones. Right? Now, in between these two, cinder and shield, there are strata volcanoes or composite volcanoes. Ayan. In this case, yung flat, it says uh, here na it's a shield volcano. So is it true that magma emission can actually uh, make a volcano flat? Alright, think about it. And does that have anything to do with the physical structure of a volcano as affected by magma? Think about it. For the next question, volcanoes move through space with magma emission. So is it true that uh, volcanoes have the ability to move from one place to another because of uh, they are because of the fact that they are emitting magma? Is that the case? All right. And then for the next one, volcanoes become more active with more magma. Okay, when we say more active, what does that even mean? So, that might mean actually na mas madalas siyang sumabog, right? Um, that, that mean, does that actually uh, mean na mas marami siyang magma? And how does uh, this option have anything to do with the physical structure of a volcano? Does it? Okay, now I want you to look back at these options and decide for yourself kung alin sa kanila ang pinaka nagma-make sense. Please remember that uh, the physical structure of a volcano is one of our biggest concerns. Okay? The next question. Okay, when Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991, it was said that the atmospheric temperature was altered. Kumbaga nagbago daw siya. Bakit kaya ito? So what we have here are going to be options that will be uh, that will attempt at explaining this. Okay, pero please remember that our question is specifically uh, suggesting or parang it's specifically looking for the reason 
why the atmospheric temperature was changed. So, is it because the lava was hot? Was it because the magma was hot? So, for these uh, options, I want you again to decide, are these uh, options that make sense or are they nothing but distractions? And then the eruption made thunders and lightning. And well, that is actually true, but uh, does that have anything to do with, uh, with what is being asked, the atmospheric uh, temperature? So, uh, is this a statement actually having a connection with our question? Or this op is this option having a connection with our question? That's what I mean. Then the next one, because the rainwater was acidic. Okay, so rain can actually be acidic, so that's for sure. Okay, but does that uh, actually have anything to do with the changing of the atmospheric temperature? Well, maybe, diba? Meron, maybe. Kaya nagbago yung atmospheric temperature, kaya siguro nagkaroon ng uh, acidic na, na ulan. For the fifth option, volcanic bombs daw, they altered the clouds. So, pinalitan daw ng mga volcanic bombs yung mga clouds. I am sorry, that is actually our newest family baby. That's Celestine, which you might hear in the background. Okay? <laughs> She's actually here right now. Pero back on the question, back on this option, volcanic bombs as we know them are, act are actually one of the emissions, di ba? Na lumalabas sa mga vulkan. Tama ba? Okay. Um, yung, yung, yung ano, characteristic nila, I want you to remember their characteristic and uh, decide if they indeed have the ability to uh, change clouds, to affect the clouds. I want you to reflect on that. For the next question, um, sabi dito, too much ash covered the atmosphere. Okay, so we all know that ash is uh, mga, ano yan, mga solid it's a solid particle, no? Even though uh, napakaliit ng, ano, ng uh, mga particles ng ash, they're still solid. And uh, do you think, does that have any capability to change atmospheric temperature? Especially, it's in the Philippines na nung pumutok ang Mount Pinutubo way back in 1991. Okay, so... I want you to go back on these uh, six options and please make sure that the uh, option that you'll be choosing is actually having something to do with atmospheric temperature. Okay? Next question. Okay, I think si Baby Celestine nagwawala siya sa labas. <laughs> Let's now continue. Which among the following is not caused by ash fall? Okay. Uh, ash fall is one of the biggest problems na na ng Mount Pinatubo eruption way back in 1991. No? And I think you as a learner, you also saw kung ano yung naging epekto ng ash fall ng Mount Taal way back in 2020, di ba? Before the pandemic. So, uh, tell me, uh, are children having a bad case of asthma uh, a problem or, or something, an event? Uh, that is not caused by an ash fall? With these kinds of questions, I also want you to be very, very careful because what we're looking for here is a situation in which ash fall did not actually play so much of a role. Okay? For the next option, buildings collapsing. So yung pagko-collapse ng mga pundasyon ng mga building. Uh, was that actually caused by ash fall? For the next one, roofs falling. So yung mga yung mga ano, yung mga bubong. Diba? Kapag nalagyan sila ng yun, alam mo na, ng ash. Very good. Kapag meron nalagyan sila ng ash, you know that uh, in time, yung ash na konti lang noong una, dadami yan. So, uh, do you think when roofs fall, does that mean uh, that the ash fall played a very uh, big role in that one or not so much? The next one, cars, cars having low vicinity. When we say vicinity, yung mga, uh, yung, yung ano, yung nakikita ng mga cars or yung mga drivers ng mga cars. Kapag bumababa yung, yung level ng vicinity nila, ibig sabihin nun, mas kumukonti 
yung uh, nakikita nila sa daan. So, it makes it so difficult for drivers to to drive. Of course, kasi napakadelikado actually. Kasi nga, na, pwedeng makapal yung asphalt. So, does that make sense to you? If it does, uh, is this the correct answer? Okay, kasi remember, we're looking for something that is not caused by asphalt. The next one, uh, there is a need for face mask. So, uh, do you think, uh, why, we, why are we fa- wearing face masks uh, these days? May, well, uh, sa atin ngayon, ano, uh, COVID-19, di ba? We're trying to protect ourselves and our families and the people we are uh, dealing with on a daily basis from uh, possibly contracting the virus which, or maybe we're protecting as well ourselves from contracting the virus, di ba? Uh, so, we're covering our mouths and our noses uh, with uh, surgical masks. Now, uh, when when there's an ash fall, is that the same thing? I mean, uh, by asking the same thing, like, um, did they wear mask against the ash? And if that is so, and if they did so, Um, is this the correct uh, option? Is this the, the option that we're supposed to choose? For the next one, air filters in most hospitals. And not actually just in hospitals. Maybe sa mga households mismo. Um, kapag ba, ano, kapag ba naglagay ng air filters, uh, ano, yung, ano yung logic doon? ba diba? to make sure that yung air, yung, okay, yung wind, is galing hangin, na papasok sa mga buildings na yan, dapat, Uh, wala silang mga ano mga tawag doon, impurities right uh, do you think is this option uh, the uh, the correct one because what we're looking for among these options is a problem or uh, a scenario or a thing or a concept that is not caused by an ash fall so i want you to think for yourselves and look back at these six options The next question is, which among the following is not a form of mechanical weathering? We made mention of weathering once or twice in our classes. And what I want you to uh, think about uh, was actually uh, your, uh, no, your uh, grade 5 classes. Because I believe we talked about uh, these, uh, these methods of weathering. Uh, specifically, we talked about mechanical weathering when you were still in grade 5. So tell me, is a dog digging a hole on the ground a form of mechanical weathering? Because if it is so, then this is not our correct answer. Why? Because the question is asking us to select the statement that is not a form of mechanical weathering. So dapat hindi daw siya, yung pipiliin nating sagot, hindi daw siya form of mechanical weathering. Okay, the second option. Men swinging mallets to a wall. So, uh, is this, do you think, a form of mechanical weathering? Okay. So, uh, ano ba yan? Um, yeah, what, what were you thinking about, man? I want you to ano, to visualize these scenarios. The next one, the demolition of a of an old building. And I want you to just parang look at their similarities and differences in case you don't know what mechanical weathering is. Because a little tip, um, if I give you I give you six options and there is only one correct answer, usually the correct answer is actually is uh, parang almost entirely on a different uh, kind of plane. Parang sobrang iba niya or medyo iba siya. Meron siyang kakaibang characteristic compared dun sa i- ibang mga options. Okay? For the next one, people walking on cobblestones. So as they walk, are they uh, causing some kind of mechanical weathering? Rainwater discoloring painted walls. So as rainwater uh, gets in contact with painted walls, iba na kita natin medyo nagdi-discolor siya, iba medyo parang uh, nagko-corrode yung paint. So is that a form of mechanical weathering? If it is, 
then this is not the correct answer. But um, if it isn't, then this is the answer we're looking for. Or is it option F? Is this the answer we're looking for? Children throwing rocks to a wall? Very well. I want you to reflect on these options and please make sure that uh, whichever you chose is actually the option that you trust to be the correct answer. I need you to be very very sure with your answers because we only have a couple of items lang here and each item is really uh, carefully made. So I'm hoping that you will be doing your best in this activity. Have a good day everyone and I'm hoping that I will be seeing you in the next quiz.